This is how to get a perfect 100% score from the Google PageSpeed Insights tool. And if you want to see how Matt Feast made $2 million with my traffic methods, then stay until the end or click the link in the description. Okay, so Google considers page speed to be one of their most important ranking factors. So this is how you can achieve a 100% score without doing anything technical or anything complicated. And also to prove that this does work, take a look at the Profit Copilot website results. So this is the Google page speed insights tool and we can see it's a hundred percent. And if we have a look at the desktop version, then you will also see it's a hundred percent, but we also need to check this in the GT metrics website. You will see that we're again getting a hundred percent. So this proves that this strategy works. So a fast way to get this done for you is to just use a web host that has Lightspeed installed. Now I'm going to give you some recommendations and none of these are affiliate links. I'm not associated or affiliated with any of these. So the first one is known host. If we have a look at their most basic package, which starts at $3.47 a month, it includes Lightspeed. We've also got Hostinger, which also includes Lightspeed and then A2 Hosting and Green Geeks. If you are using a web host that has Lightspeed installed, go to the WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new and type in Lightspeed and it will give you access to the Lightspeed cache. So install that now and that should be your default caching plugin. A caching plugin is essential for a fast website. It creates a static version of your content. So it reduces load on the server. And if you don't want to move to a different web host, you can use a service called Cloudflare. Go to cloudflare.com, sign up for a free account. This is a CDN content distribution network. It uploads a version of your website to multiple servers all around the world. And then it will send that based on geolocation. So it, it loads really fast. And then you just put in your domain name there, verify it, and then it's good to go. It's so simple to use. And it gives you access to a wide range of analytics and tools that you can use, which might be particularly good if your website falls under a DOS attack. Next is to optimize your images. So we can use a couple of tools for this. The first one could be an online image optimizer. So you can upload your images and it will crunch it down and shrink it to a smaller file size. However, the way that I do it is to use Photoshop. So I do this in two stages. The first one is to load in an image in Photoshop. We can see that it's quite a, a big image. And if I were to export this to the internet, we can see that the file size is going to be pretty significant. So the actual image size is it's down here. So it's 168 kilobytes. It's far too big for the internet. Really, we want to get this image down to maybe 20, 30 kilobytes. So let me show you how to do that. So first of all, we reduce the actual image size. So we want to make sure that the image width is no bigger than the width of our website. So my template, I think it's 900 pixels wide. So I'm going to set that at 900 pixels. I'm going to make sure that the resolution is 72 and then I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to shrink it down. So if we have a look at the file size now, it's going to take it from 168 down to 34 kilobytes but we want to bring it down even further if possible. Here we have the colors. We can change how many colors are in the image. Now this works perfectly for GIFs. If we change it to JPEG, the file size is going to increase to 64 and that is because there's more information in the image. So if you can get away with using GIFs, use a GIF 
and then bring down the colors to the absolute minimum that you need. I've reduced the colors from 32 to 16 and it's brought down the total image size by a few kilobytes. We can also change the dither. If I reduce this, the quality of the image will reduce and the file size will decrease as well. So play around with those settings if you're using Photoshop. Once you're happy with the file size, we can then install a WordPress plugin to crunch it down even further. So go to the plugin section, add new, type in Smosh. It's going to give you a couple of different options here. So we have the Smosh Lazy Load Images and Optimize Compress Images plugin, or we have Resmosh it. Choose whichever one you prefer. Both are going to do really well for you. Or we have the EWWW plugin, which will do a similar job. Now, earlier I said that I'm not using Cloudflare, and I'll explain why, because I'm using a plugin called Nitro Pack. They have a free version available. And if you install this, it will make your site load lightning fast. I'm not affiliated or associated with this. I just tested it out a couple of weeks ago and oh my Lord, I am so blown away with the results. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I think it uploads to its own CDN. So that probably has an impact as well. However, another little tip for you, if you disable the use of Elementor and other page building plugins, that will also increase the speed of your website too. And finally, the last step is to use the right theme. And we have premium and free options available. Let me recommend one of the premium developers. It's Mex. You can find these on Theme Forest. I'm a massive fan of their themes. I'm not affiliated or associated with these guys. I've just used their themes because they are really robust. They load fast and they are gorgeous to look at. If you've been around the Profit Copilot channel for a while or the blog, you'll know that I rave about mechs because they develop amazing themes. In my opinion, they are the best on Theme Forest. Now, what if you don't want to invest in a premium theme? That's perfectly fine. We've got multiple options there as well. Now, the first one, probably the biggest of the bunch, is called Astra. They do have a premium version available, but the free one is perfectly fine. That's good enough to get you going and it's going to load really fast. The next free theme is called Ocean WP. Again, this was specifically built for speed. And again, they have a premium version available, but you don't need to buy it. But of all the free themes, the one that I recommend the most is called Generate Press. And if you visit the Profit Copilot blog fairly often, you will notice that I flick between Generate Press and Mex Vlog. So I tend to bounce between Vlog by Mex and Generate Press. Again, they have a premium version. But in my tests, Generate Press is the fastest of all the free themes. It is a little bit technical. If you want to control the layout, then you have to create hooks that will pull in to parts of the theme. You do have to get your hands dirty a little bit with a small amount of code, but that's the trade off for a lightning fast website. And the fast website is essential for traffic. And of course, the more traffic you get, the more money you make. And if you want to see how Matt is making millions of dollars online, thanks to my training. And if you are serious about making money on the internet, then I will give you the secret traffic methods that I never share anywhere else. You can get them for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. And I'll also put a link in the description too. Okay, so if you found today's tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me and I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.